Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Christmas edition of Testimony Tuesday. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel for those of you who are watching for the first time. Thank you all to my current subscribers. I so appreciate all of your support. Thank you for supporting the channel. we got so many good things coming up in the new year, so keep watching. Now, on today's episode, since it is the week of Christmas, I just decided to do some different things this week. Most of this week is going to be some random thoughts. Now, let me ask this question. Who needs a Christmas miracle? Who needs a Christmas miracle? So many people have gone through so much this past year, and not just this past year, but since the pandemic has been going on, so many people have just, you lost loved ones, your financial situation is a little bit different now. Who needs a Christmas miracle? See, usually some people to get to the testimony, they have had to go through something, a major test, some big tests, not just the typical things. Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning because that is a testimony and a praise report in itself worthy of acknowledging. But I'm talking to somebody in particular today who stands in need of a miracle, a Christmas miracle. You know, sometimes people lose hope. And, and what really touched my heart was I was watching the news report of a young man who's in the entertainment uh, feel who committed suicide allegedly and I just got to thinking a man with a wife and three children what could bring a person to that what were the signs that were missed some people may you may have experienced loved ones who have taken their lives and some of you may be wondering what did I miss what could I have done differently and Right now, it's a lot of families out there need a Christmas miracle. Really bad. They've lost some hope. It's families just separated. It's families going through bereavement. It's families that's looking, don't, don't even have food to eat. And they are in need of a Christmas miracle. But I want to explain something to you that God is the God of the unexpected. He is the God who can do things that appear impossible. He is the one who can put people in your path who will provide that miracle for you, who will open up doors of opportunity for you. Do not give up hope on miracles, y'all, not just for the upcoming Christmas holiday, but don't give up on miracles. They still happen. God can change things. He can turn things around before midnight, y'all. Don't give up. On this Tuesday, I want you to begin to think about the upcoming holiday Sunday. I want you to think about family now. Families should come together more than just when people die and at funerals and at repasses and, you know, only at holidays. Some of you are going to see family members you haven't seen since the last funeral. Okay, nobody want to go there, but I did. You have got to realize just how blessed you are. You've got to realize just how precious time is. And I guess I should have talked more about that earlier last week, talking about precious time. Do not take for granted the time that you have with your family. And on this Tuesday's episode, Christmas episode, Christmas is a time where, you know, people is a little bit nicer to you. People say, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. They're nice to you. And what about the other 300 and some odd days of the year when they just walk by you and barely speak? walk by you and just act like you are a non-entity. Do not take for granted the time you have with your loved ones. And when you're around your loved ones on Sunday, Saturday, Christmas Eve, when you're around your family members, take long, hard opportunities to listen. 
because you don't know who's going through something and they're giving you signs. They're giving you little hints. They're saying little things. Don't be a person who miss signs. There's people who put on an act. They put on a front. They wear a mask like everything's okay. And then you then you hear people say, oh, they look so happy. I, I didn't know he was depressed or she was depressed. Sometimes you miss cues. You miss signs from people. And during this time of year, I said this on last week's episode, this is one of the highest rated years of suicide. And times of the year, people are so depressed during Christmas. For all of the people you see that's happy, running around buying gifts, singing Christmas carols, doing all of those things, there is a forgotten population of people who are suffering in silence. They need a Christmas miracle. So on this Testimony Tuesday Christmas episode, look at someone a little bit different. Love on somebody a little bit different this year. Say a few kind words to somebody. Put aside all of this pettiness. Christmas is supposed to bring people together. Christmas is like a circle that should be unbroken with a group of people who love each other. A group of people who are bonded together for life. Founded upon the foundation of love. And we have got to love each other because you know what? Each one of us needs a Christmas miracle. And let me say a quote that I heard the other day. It's not what's under the tree, but it's who's around the tree. Thank you for watching. This has been Pastor KZ. Stay focused, stay favored. And remember, Christmas is about love, y'all. It's about the gift, the gift of giving. Have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll see you back tomorrow. Have a great day.